Ah, I love this weather. So nice and peaceful and, oh crap, I forgot about that big dude. Oh yeah. Well, I don't really like uh, him as a part of this scenery. So let's do something about it. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy 13 2. Last time we took out two of those big bosses, and now we're gonna take out the other two. There's a total of four. And that's the one we're gonna go after right now, the long, well, I'll go over uh, who he is here in just a little bit. So, let's head over this way, and uh, we wanna get ready to take him out. So, before we do that though, however, we uh, got 60,000 Christogen points last time, so we wanna level up in the Crystarium just a little bit. I'm gonna max out my Commando roll, and then we'll get started on the next one there. Okay, and Commando roll is master. very good. Then the next one I use the most is the Ravager. So let's get him going, and then I'll, uh, let's see, how long until we have a... There we go, an upgrade there. Crystarium is expanded, very good. And let's get the Rav uh, bonus boost going. I wanna get all of my Ravs, all of my bonus boosts for the first level first, and then we'll get all the second ones going. So, okay, now I'll keep going with my Ravager until it's maxed out, or until I expand the Crystarium again. Crystarium expands again. And uh, let's see. Yeah, let's max out Calm. Since that's the one he uses the most. Okay, let's max out a Ravager. Get that going. Okay, Ravager roll is mastered. Excellent. Let's see, the next one I probably use the most would probably be. Well, let's see. Um, probably Medic, I guess. Um, Either Medic or Saboteur, probably. But, uh, uh, let's go with Medic, I guess. Well, yeah, I'll go with Medic. I think it's the one that I use the most. So we want to max this one out. Wow, I'm just killing it today. Okay, uh, let's get our Med Bonus Boost going. And the Med Bonus Boost is a good one because, um, that one allows you to, I think it, yeah, so it gets, so we heal more, which is, which is nice. And you want to have at least one for all of them before we do what we're going to be doing next. Okay, I'll just finish this off real quick, shouldn't take long. Okay, there you go. Whew, gained a lot of levels there. Okay, now let's repeat the process with Sarah. Probably level this up pretty quickly. Yep, there we go. Her calm boost going. All right, cool. All right, and she's mastered commando. Now the next one I definitely use with her is saboteur. So let's get that going for sure. I'll max that one out. Good. And oh, she has a wide choice. Uh, let's do ravager. Yeah, because that one's she. That's her role. She uses the most. Excellent. And Commando is next. And I'll finish this off real quick. Okay. Oh, my characters are in really good shape now. I love it. Okay. Now let me get my paradigms ready, and then we'll take on this guy here. Get a little closer here, so. And I'm not going to get on those guys. They're not worth it. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's go over the setup real quick. It's very similar to before. Um, the biggest difference is you want to definitely have a triple send paradigm going and a triple med paradigm going because we're going to need to do some quick healing um, as we go. Diversity, just in case we need to do some healing while still attacking. And uh, the other two are pretty much the same. So there you are. All right. So let's go after this guy and let's see if we can take him out. He's probably even notices me there. We're like a little, if you compare him in size, it's crazy. But anyways, it's now it's time for a boss battle. And now what we, uh, against this guy, Long Gui. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to try and get a debuff going. Ooh, I got one earlier, that's good. Okay, now, the next thing we need to do is we need, wanna, you need to go after his legs first. Always be monitoring and make sure that you know uh, when he's about to attack. Because as soon as he is about to attack, you need to immediately switch. Okay. Okay, as soon as he starts to attack, or if he ever starts to attack you, immediately do a quick round of healing. Really, if you do just one, you should be okay. 
Um, if he just stomps his feet, you should be fine. There we go. And we're doing really good against him there. Now the key to the... There we go. And uh, don't ever be afraid to tr switch to your triple send paradigm real quick. Okay, there we go. And now take conversion. We want to go after now the right four leg. And this is good. While, while we're debuffing, we're getting some healing going. So that's really good. I like that. Okay, auto under the right four leg there. Okay, good. Now start going on. Back in the... Yep. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and now once, part, once at least one thing, as long as there's one debuff going, you're good. Uh, again, because really all we need to do is bring the chain, is really just get him staggered. And again, we need to take out the legs first, and I'll show you why in just a little bit. Okay, switch over to the Comrade Rav, and go all out. Now again, the reason that I'm using a double Ravager is because that helps with the chain gauge. So you see, as soon as I attack, or as soon as he attacks, I quickly... Oops, I quickly uh, switch to a, a triple send paradigm. Okay, we've almost got him. Now his leg's gonna go down here in just a minute. Hopefully. Okay, good. Now, as soon as his legs go down, he immediately starts to fall. Now, the next thing you need to immediately do is get uh, as many debuffs going on him as you can. The most important is poison. Because poison is gonna be the one, is gonna be how you're gonna get the most damage dealt during this time. Because basically poison is basically gives you an opposite of regen. Okay, come on. Okay, good. Now, as soon as we get poison on, next thing we want to do is we want to get deep protect on, and then D. Uh, let's see, we got D shells. On. Okay, good. Now, as soon as all of his buffs are on, we need to start building the chain gauge. We want to get this guy to straight nines uh, in the chain, or actually, we want to stagger him first and cost it's 700 to do that. So you can see, uh, when, with Imperil on, uh, it makes him at least susceptible to some different things. Good. And okay, now, Relentless Assault. And now we just want to go all out on this guy, just by every attack that you've got. Look at how much damage we're doing. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. And really, you, you can probably defeat this guy in one or two staggers if, you're, if your levels are high enough. Okay, now the key to this is waiting, and um, but when we get near the end, you want to unleash your limit break. Really, he's going to stay down for most of this. I, I would be shocked if I beat him in one stagger. Okay, one more attack, and then I will unleash my limit break. Okay, abilities, and let the limit break go. Here we go. Finish him, come on. There you go, okay. And then he's back up. So I didn't quite kill him. Uh-oh. Okay, so I need to get some remedies going here. So in case we get... If he ever stops you... Okay. Uh, yeah, we need to get some healing going there. So if he ever stops you, you want to immediately get your healing going. Okay, and then that's basically the plan. Uh, you really have about 12 minutes to defeat this guy. And then... Um, and then, uh, and if you can defeat him in about 12 minutes, you'll get five stars. So, okay. So now, and that's basically the plan. So I'm just going to repeat that process. You've seen me do it. I won't waste time in this video. So I'm going to repeat this that process. And then I'll be back once he has been staggered again. And then we'll finish him off. All right, there we go. It took a little longer than I wanted to, but I got him. That took a lot longer than I wanted to, but that's okay. So again, just start working on the debuffs. Now, I'll definitely be able to finish him off. I definitely want to get that. Well, you know what? That's good. He's got he's got low enough HP that I can just use an attack. I can use attack to finish him off. Now that his buffs are now that we've got some debuffs going on. But man, that definitely took a lot longer. I might not five star this. Because again, I, I could I just got smashed that second time around. Nice. I'll beat him, but got him. Okay, I did five star it. Sweet. And there you go. That's how you defeat the long gooey. Woohoo! No, and sometimes you will get from him um, an adamantite or a platinum minga, but it's it's a rare. And if you get it, don't get it. It's no big deal. And we get the long gooey fragment and another thirty thousand CP. Like the amount of CP you get in this area is just ridiculous. 
like it's crazy. Which is great because I mean you, you're going to get most of your um, most of your a lot of your CP for the game done here. So all right. And yeah, you remember the long GUI. If you played the original Final Fantasy 13, man, that guy was whew, he was dangerous. So okay, now I'm done with him. Now there's just one more monster for us to defeat. And I'm not going to face any of these guys because I don't care. All right. Well, we've defeated a monster in the sunny condition. We've defeated a monster in the rainy condition. We've defeated a monster in a windy condition. There's only one more monster in one more weather condition for us to defeat. And so let's make that happen. Now, what we want to do is we want to go, let's see, turn this right lever up. Now we're gonna take on probably the most one of the probably the most infamous boss of Final Fantasy 13 too. Now stormy outside, we've got some creepy music. Well, let's go ahead and talk to the boss one more time. Rumor has it no monster is too tough for you two. Want to test your strength on a monster more ferocious than any you've ever encountered? Yes. Yes I do. Time flows slowly. Oh wow, fallacy with this land. Wow, it's a Seath, the Forsaken Seath. He wants death, but we need to defeat him and release him from the suffering. Let's do it. That's the spirit. I'll be waiting to hear the good news. Well, yeah, and now as soon as that happens, oh, he's out there. I know exactly where he is. So, next thing we need to do is jump on a chocobo and head over there. Now we're going to get to go one-on-one -on -one again. So we're probably the most infamous boss of this game. Let's do it. Let's get on the chocobo and head over there. Now you definitely want to take a chocobo over there because uh, the monsters are just so hard in the stormy um, in the stormy weather conditions. I mean, they're just there's undead monsters and they just mess you up. It's crazy. Now. This particular monster is not on the map, which is interesting. And he seems to be on top of this because you can actually only access him, uh, get access to him via Chocobo. So that's kind of interesting. So, all right, what I want to do now is take a second. Definitely want to get my setup all right. I'll be back once my setup is complete and I'll go over it with you. Okay, let's go over the setup. Uh, now that I'm back and ready to go. So, a little bit different. Um, the key to this battle is going to be getting buffs on him uh, and debuffs on him and, and, and really doing some damage here. So, we got a saboteur going. Also, you want to make sure that you have a sentinel and a medic pretty much ready at all times uh, in case we need to do some emergency healing. Definitely want a triple sin. Definitely want a triple med. And then this is going to be, we're going to need to do some buffing and regenerating uh, because we'll have an opportunity to do that. So, now we're all in place, we're ready to go. We get on the chocobo, a leap of faith, and we land on the island. And as soon as you jump off the island, oh, that's weird. Whoa! And now it's time for a boss battle, just like that, against Yomi. Now, the key to this battle, two things, is your sentinel, uh, is gonna be your sentinel, um, drawing the attacks of Yomi and the other thing is poison poison is just so crucial there we go as soon as you get poison on switch over to your assault and just start attacking and going all out and he'll, he'll go into this impenetrable aura which is really annoying um, because basically it puts him into a little shell um, and he just kind of recovers and he can't attack him unfortunately while he's in that shell However, we can use this opportunity to get some buffs going on ourselves and some healing going. And then, when, then as soon as it's done, as soon as he's out, go ahead and repeat the process. So you can see that um, you can see that he's, he's very strong. And uh, can do a lot of damage to himself. So, again, poison is what you want to do. Oops. 
uh, so that we can get that. There we go. Now, start attacking. There we go. And start doing some damage. Okay, as soon as you get into it, as soon as you get into uh, an issue there, just uh, get some, uh, let's, see, let's get some buffs going here. Let's get some healing going there. There we go. And then debuff. The rebuff. You're probably not going to ever stagger Yomi, at least in this early stages in the battle. So don't even worry about trying to do that. Just worry about getting poison on. And going from there. There we go. There we go. Now attack. Now sometimes it yeah, sometimes he Sometimes he'll just uh Okay, come on, maybe I can stack if I can stagger him, that'd be outstanding. That would be really helpful. Very, it'd be very unexpected for sure, but... Alright, good. He staggered. Cool. Now we can really do some damage. Ah, but yeah, as soon as he staggers himself, though, he immediately shuts down. So, again, it's just... It, it, it is kind of annoying, but... I mean, you are going to have a chance to do a lot of buffs. I mean, this this battle takes a while. I mean, there's just... There's just no way around it. This, this battle does take a long time. Okay, and now we're good to go. Let's keep poisoning him. Now he is very susceptible to both challenge and provoke. So that's why having that sentinel is so important to absorb the damage while you're while you're debuffing him. And then if you're strong enough, you can go all out. And um, there we go. You can go all out and do a bunch of damage on. Him. You can do a bunch of damage. Come on. Sometimes you almost want him to go into an, an impenetrable aura state uh, if he's starting to get low on HP. Okay. Oops. Uh, let's get a uh, triple med going here. Heal. Now we'll get some buffs going. We're actually doing pretty well. We're, we're, we're dealing a good amount of HP down. Uh, as soon as he gets out, I think I'm going to be at a point. Okay, well, we can get a, we can get some spirit infusion going, so we can get a bunch of buffs going. Oops. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, so we can start doing even more damage, which is good. And, and again, your your sentinel is going to take so much damage that he'll he'll get his buffs going. Oh, wicked whirl! As soon as he does wicked whirl, immediately get into your triple send. And then immediately heal after that, because Wicked World does a lot of damage. And then back on the Assault. Again, Poison is definitely your friend in this battle. Yeah, I, might, I said I might get staggering, so let's get... Okay, and then he goes back into his Aura, and we repeat the process. We're doing really well. Uh, this is actually going quite well. Like I said, the battle just, it just takes a long time, and there isn't much you can do about that. Okay, just get ready now. As soon as he gets out, get the poison going again. Now, I, I will say that he, he he does like to give buff himself up in that um, impenetrable aura state. And as you can see, as we get more information about himself there, you know, again, really having a Ravager doesn't help too much. But because my Ravagers are really strong, um, and, we, and they can still do some sort of physical attacks. Okay. Wicked Whirl. Yeah, see how much damage he does there? Just crazy. So let's get some rays going here on Null. Now it's auto heal. Not even worry about buffing. I just want to get our healing going. Go. Now let's get Noel all healed up. And now back on the attack. And let's get. Uh, there we go. And then basically you just want to rinse, lather, repeat until he goes down. Get the whirl. Get the tortoise going. 
Yeah, as soon as you wicked roll, always take a round to heal. Ooh. Yeah, get it down, I guess. There we go. Now, let the attacks resume. So you just gotta manage the battle kind of carefully. And, you know, in this one, it's, it's okay to sacrifice a little bit of offense um, for some defense there. Now, we definitely wanted to get some healing going here. And let's go to Fuse. We can buff ourselves up there. Now we get, okay, with the Whirl. And then heal. See, that Wicked Whirl is just nasty. And once, a little bit later on, he starts to think that, oh, I'm, he, he starts to think he's invincible. So you really have to manage the battle carefully uh, the further it goes along. And then just rinse, lather, rinse, lather, and repeat, and eventually he'll go down. And I'll be ready for him to, as soon as he gets out of it, start poisoning. And hopefully one of them will, and hopefully when he starts buffing himself, one of them will stick. And you can, um, okay, good, got it. poison going, now just keep going. He actually got deep protect on him, which is helpful. Okay, got to heal up. Ugh. Oh dear, I hope I survive this. Got him! All right, sweet! Somehow we finished him off there. Woohoo! Yeah, and that's how you do it. So it's, again, there's a little bit of risk to it, but it's pretty good. Look at that, you get 20,000 Christogen points, 48,000 gil. This is the best place to do level grinding and gil grinding in the game, for sure. Oh, we got a tier of woe, that's nice. And for finishing him off, we get the Yomi Fragment and another 30,000 CP. And if you defeat all four bosses, you get a trophy for this well. I believe it's the, um, the, uh, let's see, uh, the, uh, yeah, the Big Game Hunter trophy. So, and now we are all done with everything to do in our side quests. So that's pretty awesome. So, what I'm going to do now, actually, let's go over the Yomi Fragment. I'll show you that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, and there it is. There you go. So and now, and you you can respawn against him to build your CP uh, and your gill if you want. So okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spend a little time off screen leveling up my um, the rest of my monsters because, like I said, this is the best place in the game to do it. So uh, I'm going to get some things going for my green chocobo. Get some get some leveling going on there. Probably finish off the blue chocobo. Uh, finish off my goblin chieftain. And that should be good. So I'll do a little, just a little bit um, with the medic going, and then we should be in good shape. And then we will finally continue with the story. But what the heck is the story? You also wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out the donations page. And as always, take care, y'all.